True science will always prove the existence of God. Every time. Good, good morning, my Bible study, daily Bible study friends. Today is the second video on DNA, and I hope that you'll watch it to its completion. Also, if you haven't seen part one, Anthony Flew and DNA, I recommend that you also watch it in its entirety, because in it I lay the foundation of understanding for this and other videos. Herein you'll see the multitude of diverse life on this planet, and how all of these living creatures were created using DNA. They've all been meticulously crafted by our Creator in the minutest detail to accommodate all critters in their assigned environments. Let's not forget that God is the author of all life everywhere. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Why do we study this, you might ask? Well, Isaiah answers this question in Isaiah 41 and 20 that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, the Holy One of Israel hath created it. What a wonderful answer. Amen. In this video, we're going to examine shortly the actual DNA code itself, which, as you already know, is made of the same four base pair of DNA, that is, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. The code is comprised of over 3 billion microscopic particles of four chemicals, which are invisible to the naked eye. You may recall Hebrews 11 and 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen are made of things that do not appear. Amen. Let's take a moment and consider the actual number 3 billion, shall we? Keep in mind that to create an animal of any kind, it takes about 3 billion nucleotides, all in the proper sequence. If you were to count to the number 3 billion continuously, that is 16 hours a day, it would take you conservatively 250 years to count to 3 billion. And think about that. And many, and most likely, it would take you much more than that. So there are 3,500,066,480 letters in the Bible. That's not including semicolons, periods, and whatnot. With that in mind, take a look at your Bible. No, seriously, take a look at your Bible. Actually look at it. How thick is it? Let's have a look and say it's an inch thick, conservatively, okay? If every letter and character in your Bible were, the number of, were to the number of 3 billion, the same Bible which you're now hopefully looking at, that is about one inch thick, that Bible would have to be over 83 feet thick, and probably much more, in order to contain those 3 billion characters. Now add to that understanding that each nucleotide needs to be in its proper order, like a password to your email. How long would it take you to type your password, you ask? Well, since it takes over 250 years to simply count a man to that number, you do the math. It would take you well over 100 years to type your password. While we're on this subject, you would not want to make a mistake somewhere along the way because then you'd be forced to find the mistake and start all over again from that point. Amen. Bill Gates, the famous software designer, you all know him, I'm sure, he famously quoted this, DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software we have created. The phone or the computer that you're looking at that is producing these images and letting you hear the sound is operating using what's known as a binary code. That means that the code is using and utilizing only two digits. Therefore, everything that you're seeing and hearing at this point is doing so using only I, ones and zeros. By contrast, the software in your body is using a four-digit code. Those four components are the four chemical compounds you know as adenine A, cytosine Z, guanine G, and thymine T. Amen. So all of these codes 
have to be put together just like a computer code. Try to imagine a computer code that puts itself together. You know, if you are the persuasion that there is no God, then you have to believe that all of these three billion codes were put together accidentally. That somehow in some cosmic explosion over billions and billions of years, a life was formed out of nothing. Folks, it's, it's ridiculous. Anybody with a brain realizes that something cannot come from nothing. And nothing creates nothing because nothing is to be created from it. Amen. Far more than that, to imagine that a computer code uh, to produce a video, to produce a sound using two digits, would be impossible to put together. I don't care how many years you, you, you let it happen, but a, a, a DNA code for any creature, for just one creature, would be, would be impossible. I mean, it's not even astronomical. It's impossible that, that this code could be put together by anything other than a master creator for even one creature. And then look at video one and you'll see the diversity of creatures on this planet. Folks, anybody who tries to tell you there is no God, they're either willingly ignorant or they're just straight ignorant. Now, I hate to be so blunt, but the Bible does say in Psalms 14, uh, Psalm 14 and 1, the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Don't be a fool today. Accept what you see. Accept science. Allow science to prove the existence of God, because in every case, science will do that. Tomorrow, we'll take just another look at it, and may God keep you and watch you in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank you already for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a wonderful day in Christ.